beginners, today I'm going to teach you how to do your first stitch, which is called the knit stitch, or it is also called the garter stitch. I just want to show you what I have knitted at these at this stitch. You can knit a headband and you can knit a scarf. These are really two easy projects if you're a beginner. So let's get started by teaching you how to do the knit stitch. You cast it on 10 stitches. If you don't know how to cast on, look back at my last video, which is called 2 Casting On. Okay, so when you do your knit stitch, you're going to take your empty needle and you're going to place it into your first stitch. Okay, from front to back. Okay. <coughs> then you're going to take your working yarn. Do you not want to take your tail because if you're going to knit um, your tail in and your working yarn's all the way back here on your last stitch, that's going to be a problem. So sometimes what I do is I take my tail and I just put it in the back like that. Okay, so I'm going to put your needle from front to back. You're going to take your yarn and wrap it from right to left. Okay. Then you're going to take your left needle again, lift it up over your right hand needle, and then slide that stitch off. Okay, I'll show you one more time. Actually, a couple of times. So you're going to take your um, right hand needle, you're going to stick it from front to the back, so it looks like that. You're going to take your yarn and wrap it from right to left. You're going to bring your left hand needle over your um, right hand needle. Okay? And then you're going to tighten it. And remember, don't tighten it too tight or it's going or it's going to be really tight stitch and you're not going to knit anymore because it can be way too tight. Okay, I'll show you again. You're going to take your right hand needle stick your needle from front to back so it looks like that. You're going to take your yarn, you're going to wrap it from right to left and bring it over your right hand needle and then slide it off. Now when you're first begin, you're going to think, well that's really, really complicated. But when you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. And then when you're um, getting the hang of it and you say, oh, that's pretty easy, you can wrap it around your finger like this. So you can have like a tension, that's what it's called, and you can just knit all those rows really fast. And you see there's going to be a huge gap right here. That's fine because every single project what you do on the first row, there's basically going to be this gap right here. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna um, demonstrate it one more time, and then I'm gonna let you go. Okay, you're gonna take your right hand needle. You're going to place it from right. You're gonna place it from the front to the back. You're going to take your yarn. 
you're going to wrap it from right to left. You're going to take your left hand needle and bring it over your right hand needle so it brings that yarn through and makes a new stitch. Okay, that's how you do the knit stitch. And then my next video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do the purl stitch. And that's basically a little bit more tougher because it's almost like backwards knitting. It's like when your yarn's in the front and you have to go in a different direction, but I'll explain that later. Okay, that's all for today. And please, if you have um, complicated anything, what you need to, um, questions or anything, don't leave a comment. Just keep it to yourself in this watch game started. That's number two. And um, that's how you do it. So thanks for watching. Bye.